Welcome to the Geometrize video tutorials. I'm your host, Sam Clydell. I'm the game developer and software engineer who made Geometrize. This is the first in a series of how-to videos for using Geometrize. And today, I'll just begin with the basics for using the software and turning a few images into shapes. If you want to follow along, you can get Geometrize for free for Windows, Mac, or Linux desktop through the links in the video description below. So, starting off, you can see that I already have the Geometrize main window open. And in here, you have the central launcher window, which is your starting point for opening images. Uh, and here, just in the center that I'm scrolling through, uh, there's a couple of hundred sample images with preset settings that I've tuned already. Uh, and they're all tagged and filterable, so you can search. For example, if I type in plant, like I have there, you can see 20 or so images with plants, uh, and that can really help you get to the images you want fast. So without further ado, I'll pick an image which will be suitable as a demonstration. So uh, we've got a lynx, and it's staring at us. And on the left, uh, you can see the original image with a target image opacity slider. And if I scroll that slide to the right, you can see the original image in the center. If I scroll it to the left, you'll just see the beginnings of what will be our geometrized image. Geometrized is going to add shapes to this canvas right here. And at the minute, if you look at the settings on the right, you can see that I've got triangle selected and the number of shapes per update, max shape mutations, parameters that basically affect the performance of the program. So I'm going to just hit start and show you what Geometrize does. You can see that as the number of shapes increases, the basic form begins to resemble the original image more and more and more. And while it's doing that, I'm just going to zoom in to demonstrate that this is an SVG based view. So there's no pixelation whatsoever. So you can zoom in and zoom out without any loss of quality. But there's also the pixmap based view here, which will show you the pixelated image with the thousands of shapes being drawn onto it. So if I stop it here at 1500 shapes, you can see that yeah, there's a fairly striking resemblance between the original image and the images that we have in the view here. Uh, the difference being, of course, that these in the center are just made of shapes. So uh, assuming that we're happy with the way this looks, we can go to the Export tab and hit Save Image or Save SVG. Save Image will save that classic uh, PNG or JPEG image. And I'm just going to go ahead and do that. As SVG will save a scalable vector graphic uh, which will naturally allow us to zoom into it endlessly. And if I just drag those over and show you those, uh, here we go. The PNG. Yeah, you can see, yeah, it gets pixelated when you zoom in. There's the SVG over here is infinitely scalable, there's no pixelation. Now, of course, you probably noticed now that these images don't look amazing. Um, the reason being that they're actually running with very, very low settings, so I could show you thousands of shapes being added in a few seconds. Uh, if you increase the sliders here, you'll increase the quality of the final image, and uh, you probably get more aesthetically pleasing results. So, uh, just for now though, if we say that we wanted to try some different shapes to see what the results would be like, we could switch from triangles to rotated ellipses and set it going again. Uh, and just watching here, you can see the basic form coming together, 100 shapes, 200 shapes. And uh, you can see you're, get, you're gonna get a very different result to last time when you were using triangles. 
So, uh, that's the basic introduction to using geometries. Um, and uh, I'll add results to, I'll, uh, rather I'll add links to um, the video description below with uh, the results, a couple of sample images uh, for you to replicate yourself. Uh, and if you have any questions or feedback, then uh, please just leave a comment uh, and be sure to uh, subscribe, take a look at any of the links below, and uh, thank you for watching.